really, if really I well was against a this, unit, like, what would be my stats and keywords? It's in a mid-range meta right now, and it's perfect for those matchups. And we see the bans coming Immobile. exactly as expected. We see the... Hello everyone and welcome back to the Legends of Runeterra World Championship. We are getting underway with day two and the competition is fierce. He might be going for it. He, this, this a lot actually rides on this because if he goes for the poppy now and Kevin just plays the third poppy, if Shihu doesn't play around that 10% chance from his perspective of the third poppy being in hand, he gets punished, but he goes for Woo! the Scythria. That's so huge. Hitting the Cythria is great here because with that rally, the turnaround swing was going to be hit. No. Whoa. Wait a second. Wait. Did Kevin just play into the silence? Look at Shihu's face. The daybreak from the sunburst. This is the surprise value I was talking about. Oh, oh, Kevin didn't the realize the silence was oh, there and he wasted oh. a sharp sight. This is one of those cards that I mentioned before. You don't see it very Nobody often. Nobody believes it. I, exactly. I played so many expeditions and it's actually is possible. Units. It actually is possible to pull the Make It Rain, but he didn't hit it. And now I think Yamato just has this. I mean, he has enough mana to protect. Pokey Stick is going to be preemptive, and Yamato is just going to have the ability to not only threaten the face with Darkness, but also ping off the keg, keep himself alive through this. And if he uses Vile Feast, he's not even risking dying to Shrooms. This is so strong, and this is all thanks to Stilted Robe Maker discounting the Darkness. Second Pokey Stick goes down, and we have the protection. There's the Vile Feast, and the Darkness deck is able to take it. Darkness versus Burn, top taking the Ishtali Sentinel, even at Night enough, gotta go for these small, cheap units, clog up the yep. board, and by the way, Or you could go for the elusive have... win with the Great Beyond. Since we the have Great the Beyond is going level. for it. That's it. He, oh, oh, he can take off the Spell Shield with help picks. The Whimsy off the top will actually stop this Great Beyond. Wait, that's huge. This, oh no, oh no, because now, Kevin it's didn't have enough to win. The whimsy punish. He drew the third Lulu and she who didn't play around it. Oh my God. You, you never expect the whimsy. People don't put it in the deck, but when you draw your second Lulu, she's a pretty useful spell. This is absolutely nuts. But we see Kevin taking a really, really defensive block. He didn't probably need to block this last quick attack, but he is going to lose a couple of units on this. That's going to be huge. Kevin's down to deck in the entire tournament. Definitely going to be very hard for Ragnarok. I, I, I honestly did not expect him to to get a win against Zoe Nami with his two decks. So this is a, a, a very expected win here for for Cello. It's looking like, but the key the key question is: Will he be able to take on his remaining deck? and overcome that because this is this is a rap ladies and gentlemen like I, I i could try to add some dramatic intensity to this but you know I, I'm, and you I'm think you think real. you're finally gonna kill at least one of these elusives <laughs> but no. you're wrong there's another no. vigor coming in another buff another nami buff as well and you can almost <laughs> yeah. get 20 to zero game one goes to Chelsea. dominant performance from a dominant deck and again it comes down to not even the player skill ragna you know playing well or bad Plays oh, Senna spider! To get the darkness. Spider's more than four. This is. Oh yeah, Tribe is even better than Spider. Right oh in. my gosh. But darkness kills. But darkness is it gonna save your yeah. entire life here? Yeah, it really is. Cause you kill the biggest threat. You can get rid of the horns. That is so. It's so terrifying that that Wait, thing is on the to, board. Do you? Oh, I see. Cause of glimpse. But I wonder yes. if you have the darkness now. Like, what if it's? I mean, I don't know if you can get scarier than ten attack, but like. What else would you be afraid of getting spawned from the tri -beam? Um, hmm. I guess I guess forcing it to be a slow action is rough. You don't want to force it to be a slow action. Wait, so while Senna's wait. alive. Wait, this is such a crazy hit. We've got a, we've so got a snap vine. Freaking snap vine, but we have Boom 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 in hand. If we can create a way yeah. to discard and throw out, uh, like a, a, the, we get so many five threes for cheap. The scary thing is the uh, the revenant though, but I think it it kills it, so you still get your lost soul back. Yeah, you do, you do. To kind of play it anyway, you're you're always the next time around, but uh, able to have, yeah, the difference in elusives, the fact that, okay, I drew two of my battle commandos, you ate one with a fleet for the tracker, okay, fair game, but um, the sharp sights got burned out, and at the end of the day, you, you found the face damage. 
And I think Majin was just trying to prove a point by playing Yordle in Arms. We were hyping the card up. Mogwai was hyping it up as well. And in that case now, we are seeing that, you know, <laughs> the card put in an impact again. Mogwai is currently on screen. I think he was not expecting that one either. But Mogwai, we're just trying to showcase your love for Yordle in Arms. Yeah. You know, the card was played. You have <laughs> to come know, up just... and give us your reaction as well. That, that's not the reaction <laughs> I expected, you. but thank that's you, That's what Mogwai. I expected. <laughs> I expected exactly that reaction. Yeah, j just doing the victory dance, right? Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, That's as awesome he went to go to cheer see. for Brazil. Harpoon one of these, he might have to freeze one with three sisters. Really, his strategy at this point is like, okay, well, I have Dreadway on eight. Let's be as not dead as possible for turn eight. All right, he's going to make it cheaper instead. I assume we're freezing a five, two. Yeah. And then you're might taking kill one more five, two. seven plus five is 12. You don't want to be at two health, so we're going to nuke the other one. Doesn't go for board space, goes for maximizing health. Yeah, um, he's actually still dead to this rally, though, I think, right? This is seven damage coming through. It's a trap. Both of them and are still up. Again. And yeah. seven more again with the Golden Aegis. Alan's going to pop okay. it off. And Alan is going to turn this completely around. This this went from zero to 100 real quick, and Alan is going to yeah. find the victory, making this group have everyone... Oh, yeah at one and one freak it's a full-on reset every single match is the most impactful match because the winners are going to be advancing okay and see right odyssey's entire hand is just uh poison darts the, this repose could just actually just seal the deal for Majibe here 19 puff caps in hand we've got six more potentially coming we've got uh two damage going on to the nexus look all the way down with oh, the impact no! Oh no, he misplayed! Oh, he choked! He should have gone for the. He, oh no! Oh no! No, not like this! He Wait, had the oh, repose! No. He had the repose! Yeah! I, I was, oh, I was no. like, why? Why? I was confused! I was like, why did he do it? Oh, not like this! Not had the like healing. this! Oh, oh, Majibe looks in the camera, heartbroken. Odyssey able to make it come through. We knew that the presence oh. of the fangs brought the game to that position. We want to play around things that punish development. So a field of rush here into an open attack next turn. Looks like the play. He's going for it. And this is going to pull out Ooh. a leveled gangplank and a leveled Sejuani. She who is looking at this one of field of rush, and that's going to be disastrous for him. He can sunburst the gangplank this turn, but he can't sunburst next turn. So when you were prepping for world coverage, did you expect to see field the rush? No, this is feel, both players have feel the rush in their lineups here. She who has it in his other deck, and she who's realizing the position that he's in, it's really, really bad. I mean, the gangplank is gonna get taken out by the sunburst, but he needs another answer. He knows he has to pale to try to find one. But now, no, now the GP doesn't get taken out by the sunburst because there's already been spells cast this yeah. turn. You can't silence him. You're you're out of options if you're she who. Here she comes, the leveled Sejuani, her four, her steed. That and is absolutely both crazy. Ten tens with overwhelm. And that's the feat to close out the game. Yeah, it's just a single plus decimate get excited. and a get excited on the stack all at once. There's no way to heal. Is the rally? There's the decimate. Get excited and come down at any point or she who can just play the second decimate if he can survive the attack but most likely we will just see there's the buff up the sharp sight it's an elusive she who can't block it but he does have to get excited that's all can't he needs block, can deal three damage to the face she who burning his way to a win in this first game yeah, takes it down with the Draven Azrael. This deck. All at once. All right, yeah, There's the attack, grabbing the tenor. he's good. And all he has to do is click OK. And there it is. The six uncontested damage, Cello having no responses. Yamato is not playing the during the secondary part because he knows he's playing around red card. He knows he's playing around stuff like make it rain even. Uh, stuff that would just like give a development, even any fearsome blocker. Now that we see Cello's down to five, Yamato has won the race. The Mystic Shot and the Get Excited in hand. This was a beautiful line of play. Yamato had to precisely calculate all of the damage that was coming in this turn, last turn. The moment he decided to block with the Arachnoid Sentry into the Tenor of Terror was it. At that moment, he knew he was going to use the Mystic on face. The second Poro uh, wasn't going to be used and just commit the axe into the open attack. And this is it. Yamato takes it.
Yamato locking in the game, tying up this series here. And Cello shaking his head. He should have seen it. You can't always expect your opponent to have that. Controls all the pressure. Although, I mean, that double up dealing four is a big deal still. Yamato is down to 12. I think that there's secret synergy here, though. The stolen lecturer means that there might be extra plunder triggers at the start of the turn, which, if we see a Sejuani out, could be very exciting. Oh, and Yamato is going to miss the allegiance on oh, Yordle no. Grifter. That is painful. Yamato, of course, only having four Freljord cards in his deck. It's just the Sejuani's in the one of copy of Three Sisters. So a very, very unfortunate hit. What's going to happen next? Uh, Swim, what are your kind of final thoughts before we move into these final two matches? I mean, I'm honestly excited to see how EU performs. Both Alan and Shihu are people that I've known for a very long time. They were both playing this game from the very start, almost two years ago now. And I'd like to see them do well. I really would, especially after EU's showing in day one, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, we'll see what happens. We will see what happens. Where do you think Shade was thrown at you from Swim? What do you have to say about that? I just, I just love that he says that right as he's about to leave. You know, that's just, <laughs> that's phenomenal. All, all I gotta say is, Shihu and Alan are doing well. Dinger is coming for you, Swim. That can be taken out of context in a way, but whatever. <laughs> I stand by what I said. Well, I don't want. Pretty good, you know, especially with uh, the ability to draw another Ezreal as well. I mean, he has one Ezreal left in the deck, and he can try to predict for it. Uh, Artipus is also really. Like, it's also a very nice play because Autopus gives you bodies, right? But I really like that mm -hmm. Mystic Shot. I'm happy he took that Mystic Shot right there. Down goes the second time trick. Let's see what he picks up this time. Oh, he picked We're that just real fast. <laughs> oh, my God. We're just looking in the box here, Panda. Okay, somebody. This is gonna... lethal. Look at all these Mystic yeah. Shots. And don't I'm forget, telling. Aftershot can go face. So, anyways, I started blasting. <laughs> that's, that's it. I, I really, really wanted to say that. I, I'm, I'm so happy I, I got my moment for that. Here we go. That is one of the sexiest lethals I have ever seen in Legends of Runeterra. And this Curious Shell Folk deck definitely showcased why it's been banned two times prior. It's got, it's, he's playing this really, really nice and really patient, but he's not drawing no, exactly what it. he needs. And... He's starting to get overwhelmed okay. by this seven. Sword. Yeah, We're at seven. How big is it? Not going for the higher value. Okay. It's uh, an endurance six six. It just dodges a monster harpoon. I have I have never seen so small of barrels and everything gets added in more damage. I'm sweating here. Yamato just waiting to get the turn passed back to him to finish this game. Yeah, and the, the, honestly, the, the saddest thing about the situation is Cello has to know he's no good here. He knows he doesn't have a way out. He's trying to draw. The saddest thing about this is Cello, Ooh. we won't even get to see the third warning shot because the first warning shot deals six, the second six. one deals two, the that one's two. it. It's and done. Cello is it's out over. of here. Yamato advances. Yep. They were having trouble drawing their champions and Kevin said, well, and I took that personally. So now the Sedgewadis are all coming out to play oh and just so much wide damage. We got Lecture and Yordle. Yordle and there's mana to still damage. cash in. The oh no. This game's over next turn. This is an absolute blowout. The what is going on? Potential for these aggressive decks to get these free wins puts now Odyssey in a position to have two shots. And I mean, we can see. You know, Kevin, at least, he's he's handling it pretty well. You can see his face. He's just kind of, like, staring straight forward, kind of stoically. <laughs> you know, he's not too worried about anything that's happening. He knows that sometimes in card games, you just get a little mm. bit unlucky. We're going to see the surrender. And, wow, that's that's one of the biggest blows. That might be the biggest blow that we've seen all tournament. What an incredibly heavy draw from... We fear something's ridiculous! Whoa, 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 wait, wait. Six, eleven. Wait, he's, he's he's just going for lethal like this. Oh my God, does he have him? Oh, if if he open attacks like this, he has him. What is he playing around at this point? Mini morph. Sec, sec, he's worried about shot. mini morph. He's worried about mini morph, which is why he's playing this. But oh no, does he lose lethal? No, because he has this sharp side. Never mind. He has this sharp side. This is over. This is actually over. Alan is gonna advance 2-0.
the, oh, I, the I current did, I bruiser. Missed on the, I am so sorry. I missed on the fearsome completely. That is incredible. Sharing that keyword is huge. Being able to punish. We were thinking about maybe something like overwhelm to punch through these chump blockers, but fearsome to just go above them instead. Allen with a clean 2-0 advancing to day three to top eight. You know he wow. loves it. And I'm so glad that we got to see wow. shell folk. Amazing. The box here as well, Ooh, taking down clean. two more units on Majin Bay's side of the board. And still, these enormous champions are on the side of Shi and ready with the attack token now, with the Battle Fury now as well. Yep. To push think, even more damage through. Look at this buff onto the Trundle. How do you stop this? It's gonna be five damage coming in through Trindamir. It's gonna be 13 you know, it, damage coming in. It's a you actually have to block. The, the fearsome means he has to block it with. And Sion. there's nothing you can do. Battle Fury means that even if you're at 20 health for Majin Bay, it's not enough. Oh, yeah. These champions are unstoppable. And she who takes game one in Ooh. this series with feel the rush against Raven Sion, the old meta taking on the new and showing it. And lore, he brings it back, and the poles are in the top eight, ladies and gentlemen. It's not lethal quite yet, but with the Decimate in hand, once the spell is committed, we talked about there's no denial in this color combo. There's no healing. There's nothing that Majin Bay can do here. We can see it get excited. We can see a Mystic Shot both going to face Ezreal on the board as well. Shihu 2-0 sweep of an wow. incredibly strong player in Majin Bay, and he advances to top eight of Worlds. Outstanding. Shihu in the top eight, and we got it. Race your doggers, ladies and gentlemen. I want to see your doggers in the chat. It's still not. It's a good word, right? Okay, yeah, raise them. <laughs> happened in day two. For group C, it is Alan and Yamato making it forward, and group D, it is Shihu and Odyssey. These have been incredible performances from all of these players that perform today. And yesterday, we have seen some incredible action and the group stages have definitely not disappointed when it has come to the action that we've seen so far. But I want to hear tomorrow in day three's single elimination bracket. We've got What Am I, Odyssey, Alan, Cosimo, Aikado, Yamato, Shihu, and Real Key that are all going to be battling it out to see who will be crowned. The